Hey, what's up? This is Chad Gray from Hell Yeah, and you're watching Entertainment Focus. Come on. You've been on tour with Avenged Sevenfold and with Stone Sour. How's the tour going? Awesome. Yep. Awesome. You've uh, played with these guys before for, for a long time. Um, how's the uh, chemistry with all of you guys? With my band? Yeah, and with all, with the, um, the rest of the bands as well. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you know, I've known Corey and and Sean and Jim for 10 years. You know, Mudvayne toured with Slipknot, you know, probably our first seven months touring was doing diff just different tours with Slipknot. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we go way back. Um, so that's been great. And, uh, um, you know, Avenged, I, I, I've kind of run into them in the past or whatever, but like we just did uproar with them in the States and it was, it's awesome. You know, we're all, we're all friends. I mean, it's all, all cool, all good vibes. Are there any tour stories? Uh, I heard a story about uh, M Shadows and you getting trashed in North Carolina. Is that true? Uh, I, I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, which means it must have been a good night. <laughs> yeah. You don't remember the best nights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So has, has there been a lot of hell raising? Oh, yeah. 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 It's, I mean, uh, he's actually kind of been under the weather a little bit, so he's kind of been a little recluse, but uh, I think he's starting to bounce back now, so. I'm sure the drinking will continue <laughs> for the rest of the way through the UK. Uh, out of the whole, all of the band members, who who drinks the most? In all the bands, or all in, the bands? Oh, we we win. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, always wins uh, when it comes to drinking. Uh, yeah, we all go for it pretty hard. We're we're not sober very many hours a day. Yeah. Um, so how have you f f found the audiences here? I think it's amazing. <clears throat> I think, uh, I, you know, I, th I don't think that there's really any, any specific geographical area where the fans are any less than, you know, than another. I mean, we just, we have great, we have great fans in America. We have great fans here. We're building here, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's a little different. I mean, there's a little more what the hell's going on kind of vibe, you know, because I mean, they don't know the music as well. Yep. Um, but I think that ultimately, you know, I think people are, you know, picking up what we're putting down. I think that people are getting what we're doing and I think that people are enjoying what we're doing unless they're lying to us when they yell after someone. <laughs> yeah. um, now, how did you convince Vinny to join the band? Uh, it was a few, uh, quite a few phone calls by one of the other guys. Uh, it wasn't me because I, I really didn't know Vince, you know, at all. Yep. And uh, he just, uh, I think he needed it. You know what I mean? I, but I totally. think it was just a matter of when he felt like he was capable of actually committing to do something. You know, because yep. I mean, you know, when you're dealing with other lives and stuff, and you have to be ready to go in, you know, 100 percent. Sure, and obviously the depth. He yeah. needed to uh, have that reckoning. You know, yeah. to okay, I'm ready to do this. Let's go. And uh, I think we bugged him just enough to where he <laughs> maybe you know, at least started his wheel spinning. You know, at first it was like no, and then it was like. Well, maybe, and then it was like, all right, come on down. And we went down and we wrote, you know, seven songs in the first eight days we were together, you know, and didn't know each other at all. Like, I had, I've had, i been a fan for years, but um, I didn't know him personally. Uh, although that was the, kind of the great thing about the Pantera Home videos. I think that you really got to know everybody and their family. Totally. Uh, so with that, I had some understanding of... of of absolutely who you know who he was and uh, you know got to know him kind of through behind the scenes kind of stuff but mm -hmm. yeah we just kind of just met and got in the studio the next day and wrote the first song and second song third song fourth song fifth song and we were on a plane heading back home a week later you know with like seven songs like okay this is this is happening you know it's kind of an experiment but um, it worked I mean we had chemistry from the, from the get go and Greg was the same way Greg didn't know him either. Um, you know, Tom had done some touring with uh, Pantera. Uh, I think it was reinventing the Steel Nothing Face. Mm -hmm. Opened that tour, at least like half of the tour. I think that they opened, and uh, so it, it it was awesome, man. Cool, and very cool. Now, obviously, um, talking about that chemistry again for your new album, Stampede. Do you find that the chemistry is a lot better now? Like, <clears throat> in terms of writing songs. Um, has it been a very easy process? Yeah, I think that, well, I think that once we had an understanding of what Hell Yeah was and who we were as people and formed kind of our brotherhood, kind of packed and, you know, 
got along so well, you know what I mean? Like I said, the first the first record was really an experiment. We didn't know what we had. Um, after you write, record, mix, master the record, you go on tour. You know, you can't help but to get to know each other because you live in pretty intimate quarters, you know. Um, so, uh, Greg, we got done with that. We toured for that for about a year. Uh, we got done, Greg and I went back and did some of my band stuff, uh, did the new record, and then uh, just really couldn't wait to get back, you know. And uh, I think we had a clear understanding of what Hell Yeah was. Uh, I know we had a clear understanding of who we were as people. And uh, I, I think it definitely made it easier. Really. Yeah, sure. Do you find that um, coming from Mudvayne, it's more relaxed atmosphere because I guess the songs are more straightforward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's not as you know, uh, it's not as intense sometimes as you know as Mudvayne can be. Yeah. Uh, with the kind of, kind of math metal kind of mm -hmm. vibe that's you know stamp that's been kind of put on us or whatever. Um, it's different. It's definitely laid back. I mean, we you know we drink a lot, and we we drink and barbecue and write music. You know, <laughs> it's what we do. So it's a good formula. Yeah, yeah. Mud Mudvayne is not that. You know, we're yeah. not really you know the kind of partying and writing music. You know, in Mudvayne. Yeah, we've got songs like Pole Dancer, for example. Um, Pole Rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that, was that, a that was the first. <laughs> trust me. Uh, yeah, that was weird. It's just something about that riff or whatever, and I. And I think that that, honestly, that's one of the reasons that I kind of say that this is probably the most diverse record I've ever written. Mm -hmm. Maybe coming from a lyrical standpoint, I've never written anything like that before. You know what I mean? Like just writing a song about a chick. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I've never done that before. You know, that doesn't have some sort of heartache in it or you know yeah, something. Yeah, totally. It's just it's a good, it's a good time song. You know, it's yeah. just a fun song. And trust me, they are playing that in every strip club. Right now. <laughs> it's every girl's favorite song. You might be competing with Steel Panther's uh, stripper girl, though. Exactly. <laughs> Which is okay, that's good company. <laughs> I love Steel Panther. Cool.